I've found the if case lat syntax in Swift really tricky for a long while. So here's an example of how it might be used. So over time, I've found the if case lat syntax quite difficult to use. And I thought I'd come up with an example to help it stick with everyone. So here on the screen is a view model and I take in just some JSON string and I'm using the result type to return users or an error. So that's perfectly fine. Like if something goes wrong, just return the failure, if not return the success. Nothing too interesting and nothing we're going to look at particularly there. In the view controller, the traditional way, at least in my case, would be to switch on the result. And this enables me to do something with, in this case, the user data. Now I'm just printing it to the console. You might want to print it to the screen or whatever, um, however you want to use it. But in this case, I haven't been so interested to deal with the failure case and perhaps to come up with a alert view would inform the user of something, but I haven't yet done that. For a variety of reasons you might do that in your own app. So it's kind of like a, a wasted case in this switch. So there's an alternative. I could use if case let, and this associated type makes it quite tricky. And what confuses me most is the single equals here. It is a single equals. And then I can just have the success case. And the print statement is exactly the same. So this closure will, of course, then do the same as the other closure, but we only have the single if case let. So it's if case let, the case you want to deal with, with the associated type, and then equals your result from the closure. And that's it. Well, that's quite a short video, but I hope it was of use to you and see you next time.